Warhammer Chaos Bane from Eco Software is an action RPG heavily inspired by the Diablo series. As a hero loyal to the Empire of Nuln, you fight through hordes of demons to stop evil cultists and save your dying king. The story opens up with a history of events concerning an encroaching evil, and a noble named Magnus rallying warriors to his side to defeat it. The game takes place several years after their victory, with Magnus the now hero king being attacked and cursed by a mysterious sorceress, and you are tasked with finding out why. I found the plot to be pretty cliche high fantasy, which is likely something longtime Warhammer fans will take no issue with, but as a novice, some of the dense terminology had me tuning out, not to mention some awful voice acting. I have hunted the foe in the reeking depths, High Lore Master. The tower is safe for now. That isn't to say that there weren't smaller story beats that were genuinely interesting, but the overarching narrative just isn't memorable. It does, however, give you an excuse to raid sewers, cities, and forests. Every quest you're given will send one of four class of warriors out into large, maze-like maps to cut down enemies with abilities unique to your class. Each character I played was fun and offered a unique playstyle, but outside of boss fights, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay rarely evolves past attack and ability spamming to mow down creatures. I did, however, find the variety of enemies and their unique behaviors enjoyable. The tactical mix of enemy types, coupled with the sheer amount thrown at you, presented challenges that I couldn't wait to test my new skills against. Things can get a bit repetitive as some of the quest runs can drag on for 20 to 30 minutes. That drag is probably lessened by having a good group of co-op players with you, but with only one code, we weren't able to test the online features before release. Managing your growing pool of skill points to build out characters' as active and passive abilities is highly customizable, and progression is steady with frequent loot drops. The loot, however, lacks significance visually or mechanically until the endgame. Once you've completed an area's questline, you unlock new modes like Boss Rush where you can take on defeated bosses to farm loot or expeditions which allow you to free roam and face random challenges. Visually, Chaos Bane suffers from the well-worn fantasy aesthetic that at a glance makes its albeit well-realized settings look almost identical to many other Diablo clones. Its use of lighting, particle effects, and fire are impressive, however, and enemy designs, particularly of some bosses, were amazing. I liked Chaos Bane a lot. It's fun and campy with solid progression and satisfying combat. Though at launch, the core game may feel a little light in comparison to its older contemporaries, especially at a full $60. But with free updates in the near future to expand the endgame and additional paid DLC down the road, that may not be the case for long. Warhammer Chaos Bane launches on June 4th for PC, Xbox One, and PS4.